So now let's do something different. Let's do in reverse order. Now if you run the code, you'll see that you're getting uh, i from 0 to, to 9. What if I want to start from 10 and go down to, uh, to, to 0? So the starting point will be 10. And the ending point should be continue while i is more than 0. And then i minus minus. Now this way, it's starting by 10 and ending when it's uh, 1. So it will go from 10 and go down 1, 1, 1. And while it is more than 0. So let's run this one and see what we'll get. You will see we'll start getting 10, the 9, 8, until 1. 0 is not included. If I want 0 included, again, I can say an equal, then I get, uh, I get that one. So this is how you do your loop in a reverse order if you want. Okay. Now, what if I have more than one line of code? Let me do one thing. I want to calculate. Uh, the total uh, of, of the numbers. Okay, so I have the numbers from 1 to 100. What is the total of the numbers from 1 to 100? Uh, let's say here, say from 1 until i is less than or equal, sorry, i less than or equal 100 and i plus plus. So the numbers from 1 to 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, if you add 1, then you add 2, 2, 3, you add 3 to 3 become 6, you add 4 to 6 become 10, and you continue this way. What is the total? Okay. This one we have now is just going to display the numbers from 1 to 100. If you want to calculate the total, we can come here and add a variable, int total, okay, and give it the first value is 0, okay? You didn't have to say equal 0, just uh, it's a good practice to initiate your values uh, when, when you uh, declare them. Now, especially the total, because the total, you, you add to it, so if you start by a value, then you add to it, then you can get into a situation that uh, you don't know. Now, when you want to do the total, so your total at the beginning is zero. Then you came to the first number, which one? So your total became what? Zero plus one. Okay, so it became one. Next time you're coming into the loop, your total one, then you add to it one, becomes two. Okay. And then now your total is 2. When you move to the number 3, your total was 2. Then you add 2 with 3. So the way to do it in programming, you do it this way. Total equal total plus i. This means my previous total value at the beginning is 0. Add to it the value of i, which 1 here. So the new total will become 1. Next time, the total is 1. You add to it 2. It becomes 3. And then you go ahead, continue the loop. So now what will happen? The, this, this line, which we have there, these two lines will be repeated. I want to show you just something interesting. So I'll say here total and plus uh, plus total. Something interesting here, the for loop will repeat only this line. So this line will be repeated, repeated a uh, hundred times, and then it will display the result. Yeah, because if you have no bracket, if I do a bracket like this, and do one here, and do here, then these two lines will be repeated hundred times. Without the bracket, it will repeat only the first line comes after that. And in fact, I wanted to repeat only that. 
I don't want it to print for me the total every time and we'll see that one let's run if we run it we'll just get uh, an error and the error is we spell total uh, wrong here that's our error uh, basically it told us here it is spelling something different we run it and you'll just get one number which total equal 5050 because what I repeated only that that number now if I wanted to to print the numbers and add the total so I can come here and say system dot out dot print uh, line and I'll say I equal and plus plus I semicolon now I wanted to do these two lines so print those numbers and also print the total so this now what it will do it will do all the numbers from 1 to 100 as you can see and then what it did printed the total for me so these two lines repeated multiple times i can repeat any number of lines with my for loop it depends on my algorithm and what i'm trying uh, to do now you have seen how you do the total how you calculate now the average you can do it here you divide just total by 100 and you get uh, you get the average before we do that, I want to show you one thing that's important. We said in the other video, the I is a temporary variable. Why temporary? Because it works only inside this loop. If I come here and say system dot out dot print ln and I say I. Okay, let's do that. So what will happen now? Run this code. You get an error saying I is not declared. So it cannot find this simple. Because I is not accessible outside the for loop. It is a temporary variable. And we will find a technique later if we want to make it accessible. How we can make it accessible. We can declare it outside our our loop, which we will look at it later. Thank you for listening.